13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20. Uh, it's simulation that we use in the undergraduate pre-licensure program to provide experiences for our nursing students in a lifelike environment, um, providing realistic scenarios so that they have the opportunity to practice taking care of patients uh, without pr doing any harm to real patients. So it's similar to pilots doing flight simulation before they ever get into a big plane. So we give them that opportunity to take care of patients with a variety of different scenarios that um, will let them practice being a nurse before they go out but into the clinical see sites. If there's anything else we can do to help with that, okay? Well, from an instructor's point of view, the simulation program has just become a critical component of a well-rounded nursing education piece. What Kevin and her team have put together for us as a clinical instructor and in the clinical realm is uh, situations and scenarios that are so well controlled and situations that I can't really replicate when we're out in the clinical field. Students receive about 30 hours or so of actual mannequin-based simulation before they graduate. We run approximately 300 plus hours of simulation per semester. Ryan, does it feel like something's pushing against it? Or? You will see different types of things going on. The students will have had some preparation prior to coming in to that see that patient. They may know the diagnosis. They may know what the objectives of that simulation or taking care of that patient are. Um, they will also know what the doctor's orders are going to be so that they have some way of coming in with a little bit of knowledge base um, and have prepared to take care of that patient. So if that patient is going to need a specific medication, they have already learned about that medication and, and how to give it. Give you time to look through those because there's a lot there. Think about what time of day it is. So they'll come in and they will in. actually Are meet and greet the patient, patient, which will be one of our Four. human patient simulators. How are you feeling today? They have to do an assessment with regards to her pain level, her heart and lung sound. Get your vitals for you, okay? Her intake and output, and then again provide nursing interventions. Would sitting up help that cough a little bit? Um, so they'll also be expected to call a provider if they okay. need to talk with a provider about this patient's care. I love it. Expectation is that they know how to. Uh, report off to that provider with what's going on with that patient as well as take verbal orders write those verbal orders down repeat those verbal orders back and then implement those Stay verbal orders this should kick in here pretty soon um, and I'll be back to reassess your pain. Well, in my career as an ER nurse we are faced with a lot of high pressure situations recently we had a patient come in the front door who was gravely wounded the simulation background in nursing school helped prepare me for those kind of situations it's the ability to act fast think on my feet and do what needs to be done to help the patient can you tell me where you are after every uh, simulation we also provide what we call a debriefing okay let's go debrief okay so when the students are in a simulation room they are doing and doing their task and taking care of their patients and very much caught up in the moment of what's going on with that patient. And even though they are learning, they're not really thinking about what they're learning. When we bring them in to debrief, that's where we put all the pieces of the puzzle together. If you have your calling forward, they can always ask to clarify, but they are... Students have an opportunity to really analyze what went on throughout that entire 15 minute scenario and they analyze it piece by piece and what they did well and what they might change and what they might do differently. And then that experience always, I always see that translate to the care that they are um, providing in the clinical setting then. I have never seen a student not be successful taking what they've learned in simulation and translating that out into the clinical environment. And everybody benefits from that. I benefit from that. Uh, the students definitely do. And more than anybody, the patients and their families definitely benefit from that. What's our rhythm? Stay alive. Stay alive. Good.